All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's go for a crickety cruise, boys. Oh, it feels so good to be back. <laughs> oh, it's so good to be back on the bike. Today, boys and girls, but a lot of people ask, why did I buy the cross trainer? And today we're gonna to talk about that while we go for an after work ride on the bike. They're like, well, why didn't you get XYZ seven, woo, 700 different types of bikes? And uh, the answer is I'm not pro, I'm still just learning. And uh, I wanted a bike that was a bit, a little bit chiller. It's still a 300 two stroke, so this thing still goes freaking. It still shreds. But uh, yeah, I just want something that's a bit more. A bit more chill. Something that wouldn't necessarily just rip your arms off every time you sneeze at the throttle. And that's where I thought really this bike would fit in perfectly. Like you can see, it still just freaking does crazy wheelies, like no problem, but. But yeah, I was looking also for something that had a, a little bit lower seat height and uh, overall lower geometry on the bike so that I could learn to do the gnarly stuff and feel confident on the bike. So I just wasn't, I don't think I was quite there in my riding career that uh, I wanted a crazy bike. Like, you know, maybe after this bike can we get used to it, put a couple hundred hours on, on it of seat time that we'll want something a bit more gnarly but as of right now i think this is truly the perfect bike for me and uh where i'm at with my riding skill level it just ticks all the boxes for me and then to top it off that it's street legal so every spring and summer you have to ride it straight to the trails like it doesn't really get much better Woo! now today we're trying some extra soft tire pressures because uh, I'm just not all that stoked with this not approved street tire on the front. It kind of sucks. Oh. Wow, there's a whole new trail. Whoa. Well, that's cool. <laughs> so let's see, maybe today we got, uh, we got our trail tech all set up here. And it's working fantastically now. So maybe we'll see if we can use the trail tech to go find some new trails for the day. Looks like we got some other quads came up here today or something. So just keep our eyes open and peeled for that. Might not be the only person out for a ride uh, after work today. Oh, I just had to come out and play though. Just had to. It was also kind of my tester to see how my hands doing after ripping my fingernail off of it. And uh, happily to say it does not hurt right now. So I'm very happy about that. That was really not fun. Woo! All right, let's get into our first little mission here. Oh, she is. Wow, it's overgrown there. Oh, this gummy. Works freaking wonders, man. Now we just need a gummy front. Well, here goes nothing. Let's get into it. So we're all out solo today, so we definitely got to be a little careful. The rocks, yeah, they're slimy. Still trying to find the trust level with this front tire we got here. What the hell is this? Oh, you guys chewed the shit out of this trail. Absolutely ate the hell of this trail. Look at that giant hole these guys put in this trail. Let me see if I can maybe fill that hole in. 
I don't know if we're going to get it from a stop like this, but. <laughs> tires got our back there lots of beer stopped there i also gotta try and remember where this trail goes whoa and lots of new down tree falling here too oh it's so good to be back though this tire sucks on the front it really is garbage okay now I do believe the last time we were here we were on uh, the KLX so it's been a while since we've been in here But boy, does it ever feel good to get out on the bike. Like really good. It's been so long. Well, not really, but. to make me miss it that's for sure yeah whoever was in here last made a just destroyed this trail ow I'm stuck out of this one wow it is freaking slimy definitely love having the little trail forks yeah they made a sh show out of this trail Okay, next rock slab. dumb gets better than this boys a 
<laughs> Look at this, this is just magnificent. Can't beat it. All right, a little breather up there, a little breather hoot toot. And now we got a super long, sketchy descent. Which I really wish I had a different front tire. We really need to get one on for this wet season. Cause this tire sucks. This is the uh, original front tire. We got the gummy on the rear, but this front tire is atrocious. It's got zero grip. And we do have a bit of a time constraint cause uh, it's gonna get dark pretty quick. So we gotta definitely keep our eyes on where the sun's at. Cause uh, well, it's November and uh, it's winter time. It's crazy how fast all that just set in on it. Oh boy, it's this spot. Oh, I wonder how much they chewed this up. Here goes nothing. Smokes. Heck yeah, dude. Woo! This is just what it's all about right here, boys. Just soaking it in. All solo style here, baby. Having a blast, such a fun time. So happy to get out and just get on the bike today. Let's kind of just make our own trail. Let's see if we can fit through these little trees. These little pecker poles. That was gonna be a little tighter than it looked. Well, that was really stupid. That's okay, no more new holes. That's all that matters. <laughs> that would be neutral. And we'll go and pop down here. I think so. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. And I do believe this is the good old classic rock drop face thing that we fell down last time. Okay. Nice and easy. This place has been chewed up. And I've rolled down the face of this many times. So, should be no problem. Just roll. Woo! Wonder if this giant log's still here. Oh, they cut the log out. That one was kind of fun to get over. Well, the map says there's one over here. So let's see what this one is. Oh, it's right there. What's that one? Right? Yeah, we passed it. There's one that goes in there. Let's try this one. Where was it? Let's see what this one is. Okay, it's a little, a little bit overgrown off the rip here. A little bit lot overgrown. Let's see where this one takes us. Along this little edge here. But yeah, another thing I wanted to bike this bike for was because it's so narrow. No idea how I bumped neutral there. Oh, dude! This is 
epic. What a freaking sick spot. Picture spot for sure right here. That's epic. Wow, what a beauty view. Beauty. So sick, boys. What a freaking awesome day. This is, this is what it's all about right here. All right, let's go ride off into the sunset on our chariot, boys. Dreams are made of right here. <laughs> oh, I'm living the dream, boys. You guys let me live the dream. Whoa! Yeah, I just don't trust this front end yet. This tire is just so bad. All right, and we're off into another hill climb. I think from here we're going left. Yeah, we're gonna go left. Oh, new tree fall. Let's hope there's no more of that on the way down. That's crazy, the whole thing got uprooted. Oh, it's tight and bushy. Yeah, you guys sold on electric bikes? Because I am not. Whoa! Whoa! I just don't think an electric bike is gonna move for me. I just love me some two-stroke goodness. Like half the juiciness is the sound, man. Without the sound, I don't know. I can't just listen to whirr. This doesn't tickle my fancy. You know, for places that you have to, for regulations and noise, that's fair. Otherwise, eh. It'd be pretty sick for like a backyard bike though. Then your neighbors wouldn't complain. Oh shit. Whoa. Whoa. There's a lot of crap there. Thought the throttle felt kind of st sticky there, but look at that, completely stuck. This is bark buster when we crash so thankfully we have our uh, handy dandy freaking trail tech tools on hand oh yeah having this bag is awesome if you guys uh want one of these bags check out the boys public land riders they got these sick bags dude and just like that we're back in business now we're back in a ride in the sunset look at that magic boys it's golden hour baby what a fantastic ride that's been Yeah, buddy. Well, that Woo! was a lot of fun, boys. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, go down below, click that like button, click subscribe for more, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.